Well, here we go again. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we will be talking about Sunday Swap. But before we get into that, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you can be updated and alerted when I upload a video. Also, make sure you guys comment down below your thoughts and opinions on Sunday Swap. Also, hit the like button, man. It really does help out the channel. We are on the way to 1K subscribers. So let's go ahead and get into the news. Okay, so Sunday Swap announced that they will be giving us weekly updates on what is going on with the sunday swap iso and what they're working on what the team is doing in order to prepare for this okay and so let's go ahead and look at this article now a lot of this is technical analysis but i'm gonna give you guys the reasons why a lot of this stuff is important okay and so the first thing says the front the front end team started building reusable components for the swap interface and researching wallet connection APIs. Okay. And so that quickly tells us that they're working on making sure the connection with your wallets, whether that be Yoria, whether that be Daedalus, whatever, make sure that connection is working perfectly fine, making sure that they update the interface so it can be as user friendly as possible. Okay. And so making sure all that stuff looks good, make sure everything runs smoothly is very, very important. Okay. And so I'm glad that they're giving us some technical analysis, but it's not too technical that a normal person like me or like you who are who is not a developer can actually read this thing. All right. And so let's get into the next one. The infrastructure team focused on setting up build pipelines and for uh, deploying our static, <laughs> our static site via API gateway and build a pipeline for our smart contracts. I'm trying to read on the screen as well on my phone. All right. And so what does that mean necessarily? All right. And so. If you do not know this, an API is an application programming interface, and what that does is allows the different components on the website to communicate and allows those things to interact and work. All right, and so just like in the paragraphs before, they're working on make sure everything is smooth. That's basically the theme of this update that they dropped today. Make sure everything is smooth. And also in that paragraph, they talked about working on security things, making sure everything is secure, making sure everything um will be able to run without people hacking in or anything like that making sure there are no hiccups inside of this iso all right and so let's continue on to the next paragraph that they talk about and it says the back end smart contract team on board two more expert haskell engineers and implemented a simple swap state machine that can be tested independent from the pluralist pab all right so reading this initially i was like what is this. what are they doing all right so they're basically having a having a separate um testing um mechanism implemented so they can test different things without actually putting it on the iso and also working on automation all right so making sure things work without you actually having to do every single thing all right and so that's what they're working on with that and i'm gonna scroll down and just go ahead and give you the summary on this one the research team focused on organizing notes for a second white paper and implementing a low fidelity prototype and visualization of several variations of the scaling and the constant product pool model all right and so they are working on this dex that's basically what all this stuff says okay and, and they throw a lot of words at you they throw a lot of stuff at you and it's interesting to read but at the end of the day they're working on making sure this thing is as smooth as humanly possible okay and like i said in one of my other update videos they already have the decks and everything they have everything up and running where they could they could do it right now if it wasn't for the legal issues there are a lot of legal things going on that they had to go through they had to clear they had to make sure the checklist and everything had them go through the right channels to make sure this thing can operate and so initially they did not know or did they not believe that they would have to go through this entire you know same process but they got to do what they got to do at the end of the day and so i'm just glad that they continue to give us updates on what is actually going on and so let me know what you guys think do you believe that sunday swap is still going to be a hit or do you believe sunday swap will be a flop let me know down in the comment section below i'll see you guys in the next video look continue to grind also continue to shine my name is david hughes jr and i'm out